Hi, I'm Jody, and let's solve another programming challenge from DaVinci CTF 2022. This is also considered easy, but you can learn a lot of stuff from it. No clue, it just says, can you solve this Sudoku quickly enough? When it says quickly enough, it means that we have to solve it quickly. Ready? Go! I'm sure you know how Sudoku works, but even if you are a perfect Sudoku player and you solve this quickly enough, that's not computer calls quickly. When computer says quickly, you should be quick. So it's about programming. On the previous week's challenge, I was solving one equation by hand. Afterwards, I saw that there is a library which is called Z-Tree. Practically, it's a, a term prover from Microsoft. It's not a Python library, but you have Python bindings, bindings for it. What is term prover? You can say, I want one integer x, I want one integer y. Please solve. x should be greater than 2. y should be smaller than 10. And this equation should be correct. It will find you, it will find for you a x and a y which solve this, satisfies this. You can make this more and more complex. You can say, I want something which satisfies this, 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 then that, and add this to the conditions and see if you can find the solution and everything. On this page, there is even a Sudoku solver with the same logic. It says, okay, Sudoku is a nine in nine matrix of integer variables. Let's define it. Each cell should contain a value from this. Each row should contain the digit at most once. This checks this, if this is distinct. Each column, each tree in tree square. If all of these are satisfied, this is my answer. So go and solve this. This is the expertise of Z3. So I can easily use this. If you have installed Z3, you can import it. You can say import from Z3, import everything. And then you have this logics. And at the end, you have this instance and say, okay, this is my instance of Sudoku. Can you solve it? If the solve is satisfied, print the answer. Otherwise, say I cannot solve this. Let's run it. It says on the print, you need parentheses. Ouch. Right. Oh, this is Python 3. So this should be there. Then you run it. It works fine. It says, okay, I was able to solve this. Now it's easy. If I have this, I can solve. Let's go and see how I should have that. We have this. Now I have a Sudoku solver. So the next step is checking this page, creating this Sudoku in this format, and then solving it, then submitting the answer. Let's go step by step. The first thing I did for this was I tried and see if I can curl this page easily. Curl reads the page. As you can see, it's a huge form. It's answering back with, I have one input. The name is 71 and it's empty. I have another input. The name is 70, value is nine disabled. You cannot edit it. So this is my Sudoku. It's enough if I go through all these cells. For example, cell 33, it's a 9 in 9 table. So I will have 81. In computer programming, we start from 0 till 80. In this format, it is going from 1 to 81. And each cell, you have it if it is empty or if it has a value and is disabled, so you cannot edit it. To solve these kind of issues, we use the Selenium 
uh, ah, this was good. This help is coming from GitLab. This is also great, very useful. Uh, this is Copilot. It sees all the code, huge, huge, huge code base in the GitLab, then starts suggesting you what to write based on what you are doing. We don't need time. This is the problem. Sometimes it's magical. Sometimes it just disrupts your train of thought. You are writing something and it just adds something to it. At least a suggestion. Okay. So let me open my page. What was the page ad address? This was it. When you want to work with Selenium, practically it's like opening a real browser. It really opens a browser, connects to it, loads the page into it. You can see parts of the page, interact with them and everything. You will see. Uh, first, you have to start a driver. You will say driver is web driver Safari. Safari will be open. I have written this, so I'm getting the suggestions. Correct. This is the page I want to open. Then I want to maximize my window. OK, I didn't want it to, but this is a suggestion. And then I can say uh, driver get page. I will load this page. By this, I'm opening this page in the Safari. Let's check it. See, if I run it, it really opens the Safari. It opens the page in the Safari. Now I can interact with it. I will close it. And will go forward. If you want to read an element from the page, you can do that. Now I have my page. I will go here and I will create a new instance instead of this example. It even suggests comments. I need to read all of these elements. On Selenium, I can say, give me the page element with name 33. Give me the page with the name element as 34. So it is enough to go with for i in range 9, for j in range 9. Now I can read what I want to read. I can say, my element is driver get no find element by name like this am i correct yes and what is the name it is a combination it's a string it is i multiplied by 9 plus j plus 1 the copilot just suggested it okay this is it so I will go to the ninth element. If I'm in the second row, I will just add nine. So I will be in the second row. We'll add J, adding one because it starts from one to 81. Now I have that element. Does that element have a value? Value is good. E get attribute value. Now I have the value. If there is a value, I will get it as 5. So I have a value here. If not, I will get nothing. So I will say if v equals nothing, v is 0. Now I need an instance to populate with this data. I will create an instance here for i in range 9, for j in range 9. I will have my instance is, sorry, an empty list. And I will say I append another empty list here. Am I correct? Ah, no, not I, instance. Instance append this. And for this, instant I append this. Very interesting. Now I'm I have created an empty instance. And this is V, and I will say instance i and j is int of 
V. Very, very clever suggestions. Although I have written this program during the day, so it may know what I have done. Anyway, I will add a breakpoint here to make sure that I have everything correct. So let's try. It opens this, goes to this. And if it reach my breakpoint, syntax error, invalid syntax. We had a problem somewhere. List, where am I? I'm here. This is my instance. 6102392. Is this correct? 6102392. Okay, so my instance is correct. I have read the instance correctly through this. See what I did? I opened this page, then went through with a for loop on all the elements with the name one, name two, name three, then check the, if it has a value. If it has, I added the value in the correct place to the instance. If not, I would add a zero. So I created the matrix. Now it's very easy. It's enough to solve this matrix. This was the instance from sample. I don't need this. This is not needed. Then it says solve this and go here and print the answer back. Let's have a breakpoint at the end and check if my answer is correct. Once more, it opens this, creates that. I have my instance, 008, it's correct, 008. The next line is 009, it's correct. So it is already solved. The answer is in R and printed here. So this is the correct way, 74. But it would be very slow if I type this. So we need to continue. I will close this. Now I have the answers in R. I will go through the instances once more. I will say for I in range of nine, sorry. For J in range of nine. And I will add the find element. I will find that element. We, ouch, practically did everything. Because I have written this most probably. Otherwise that would be Super, super. No, it's doing something illogical here. <sighs> it says, okay, go through all the metrics, find every element. If you found the first element, check the value. If value is nothing, so if nothing is there, uh, somehow we can type into this. I can say, E, I can emulate pressing a key there. I can say E, uh, send keys, str of wow, R. This send key says, okay, it's like going there and typing something. Selenium is emulating a real browser. So I will say, I have the answer in R up to here. So go through all the elements, find the elements with name one, check if there is a value. If there is not a value, type into it the value of R, which was the matrix with the answers, whatever is there. This way I'm filling the matrix. Let's run it and see if it works. Solves it and super cool. But you cannot send here because this is controlled by the computer. You have to say OK and submit. Submit it. Easy. Submit the form. Run it once more. It will open. It will read the metrics, create the instance, will solve the matrix, will submit it, and you will have the answer back. The flag is 
DVCTF I love to solve Sudoku. Have fun. Write your programs with Selenium. It's super cool. It is used for automation. If you have a task in your job to enter all of the data from this Excel into this web form, you can just write a Selenium program to do it for you. If you have a job to go to the site, check if, it's, if it is working, if this login is working, if this page is loaded correctly, you can do it using Selenium. Have fun. I was Jody.